These are the Daily Tech Headlines for Wednesday, October 23rd, 2024. I'm Sarah Lane. ARM is canceling Qualcomm's license to design chips using ARM's intellectual property, or IP, part of an ongoing legal battle between the two companies. This move could significantly disrupt the smartphone and PC industries. Qualcomm relies on ARM technology for its chips, as do other companies. ARM issued Qualcomm a 60-day notice regarding the cancellation. Both companies' financial and operational performance could be affected here, to say the least. The information sources say that Apple may stop producing its Vision Pro headset as soon as the end of this year. The augmented reality device is $3,500 and has seen weakening demand, with sales mostly limited to early adopters. Apple has already scaled back production plans, and shipments in the U.S. in particular have fallen. Adobe has made its painting app Fresco free to use on touch and stylus-supported devices like an iPad, an iPhone, or a Windows PC, but with a much wider brush selection and the ability to import custom brushes that was previously behind a $9.99 annual subscription. This move comes as Adobe tries to compete with Procreate, that's a popular one-time purchase app known for its intuitive interface and customizable brushes as well. OpenAI is facing a new legal challenge from the New York Times, which could reshape the rules around AI and copyright. The lawsuit claims that OpenAI improperly trained its models, such as ChatGPT, using millions of articles without authorization, which could, of course, impact both AI companies and content creators. The case is likely to establish legal precedents on whether AI companies can freely use copyrighted material, potentially leading to stricter regulations on how AI is trained and used. Google introduced a new tool to watermark AI-generated content. This expands on its Synth ID technology for images. The system embeds supposedly undetectable watermarks into AI content. The move is part of Google's effort to enhance transparency, and it isn't alone here. Meta and TikTok, for example, are working on similar watermarking solutions to label AI-produced content as well. The new iPad mini ships today, that's Wednesday as of this recording, and initial reviews are out now. Some reviews conflict about whether so-called jelly scrolling is still happening. That's the effect where part of the screen doesn't refresh as fast as the other part. Most reviewers didn't see it. A few did, though. Beyond that, there are some nice words for the Apple Pencil and Apple Intelligence support. And of course, with a new chip and Wi-Fi 6E support, it's faster overall. The new iPad mini starts at $499. And finally, if you're bummed that Bose didn't continue its sleep bud track, Oslo's sleep buds are now on sale, and they use Bose's IP license. Oslo's earbuds are meant to be worn while you're sleeping to obviously shut out noise, and if you want, provide a soothing sound to sleep to, for example. You can choose from the company's own sounds or stream over Bluetooth from any other source. Oslo is also seeking approval to market the earbuds as a treatment for tinnitus. They're available now for $299. For more discussion of the tech news of the day, subscribe to dailytechnewsshow.com. You know you can find all show notes and links to these headlines there as well. I'm Sarah Lane. Thank you for listening, and we will talk to you next time.